All right, so in a few short moments, I'll be watching the PMK4 and the FR, and this gives us a opportunity to test out a feature that I deem to be very important in gas masks, the fluid drainage. All right, so uh, let's say you had a little accident in your mask, or maybe you just sweat a lot. Maybe some water from the drinking system got into the mask instead of into your mouth, or maybe you had a little puke in the mask. A mask with good drainage will mean that all of that shit, all of that nasty shit gets drained out instead of staying in the mask with you. And trust me, as someone who has exerted themselves while wearing a gas mask, you really want that shit to drain out instead of staying in the mask with you. So, uh, the way we're going to test how good the drainage on these masks are is that I'm going to, number one, I'm going to weigh them before I put water into them on this scale. And I'm going to basically fill that up with water. And then I'm going to let as much of it drain out the exhale valve as possible without decanting the mask. And then I'm going to take the weight of the mask again. And then I'm just going to basically take the difference of the two weights as how much water gets retained in the mask in terms of mass. And naturally, uh, a mask with better drainage will retain less water inside the mask and will weigh less on the scale. So, let's get right into it. Alright, so first we have the PMK4. Just turn on the scale. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm just going to weigh the mask. Come on, let's go. Make sure all of it is on the scale. Actually, yeah, since we're going to weigh it after we we put water in it. Yeah, this is the, ideally what we want. Okay, so the mask without any water or, or whatsoever is 543 grams, as you can see on the indication here. And what we're going to do is that we're going to zero it to 543 grams. And we're going to fill it up with water. All right, so yeah. Let's get some warm water in here. Or fuck it, yeah. Yep, we're gonna fill it up with water. You had a, you know, massive accident with a drinking system. Or, you know, you puked a lot in your mask, or, or sweat a lot. Right, and again, we're gonna let all that drain out the exhale valve. And we're not gonna decant it in any way. So basically just a upright orientation will let pretty much all the... Um, and we're just going to basically do it until it stops dripping. Which appears to be right here. Alright? No, nothing else has come out and we're just going to put it on. Okay. Let's see. So, it has retained... Let's just turn that off. 25 grams of water. And... Uh, all right, so there's that. Now, okay, hang on, just let it, yep, restabilize, and yep, it's 25 grams of water. So, the PMK4 retains 25 grams of water in the mask after you've let as much as possible drain out the exhale valve. Okay, so now let's move on to the FRR. I'm expecting this to do a little bit worse, if not a lot worse. So, because of the position of the exhale valve, it's, uh, it's not in a position that you will, yeah, it's not in a position where it will be able to drain all the fluids out of the mask. So yeah, let's weigh it first. Like this maybe. Come on, stay. And yeah, let's zero let's zero the scale first. Uh, yep. Yeah, I have no idea how to do this. Okay. Uh -huh. Is all of it on the mask? Yeah, all of it is on a scale, and we have a mass of uh, 581 grams. So we're going to zero the scale, and we're going to go right ahead and fill it up with water. All right, so yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's a little warm. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, fill it up. Had a massive accident in your mask. I don't know. Alright, so they just fill it up. And then we're just gonna basically keep it in this com in, yeah, in this orientation because that's pretty much allowing as much as possible to drain out the outlet valve. Oh, I decanted it a little bit there, but whatever. Okay, it looks like okay, there we go. I'm just gonna basically yeah, let as much of it drain out the outlet valve as possible without decanting the mask. 
Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Is any more coming out? Come on. Yeah. I'm just going to do it a little bit more like this. Uh, there we go, come on. Yeah, I don't think you're going to reasonably get any more out. You're all just sloshing around the exhale valve instead of into it. Alright, all right, so let's weigh it. Oh, forgot to... Oh yeah, that's negative, so yeah, that is 0 to 581. So if I put it on now, it should give us the mass of the water retained inside the mask. And it is a staggering 128 grams, so... Yeah... There is an advantage to having a mask with the outlet valve here instead of, you know, directly in front of your mouth. But, yeah, it's not gonna be pleasant if to, to share your mask with all that water in the event that a major accident takes place inside your mask. I'm, I'm just gonna say that. But yeah, hey, um, thanks for watching this test and uh, maybe in the future we'll do more tests of masks um, in this similar style. So, hey, thanks again.